Vincent van Gogh killed himself? How does a man go from calm to suicidal in six weeks? The new movie Loving Vincent is something truly spectacular. It details the life of the legendary Vincent van Gogh and is the world's first fully painted film. A team of 125 professional artists worked tirelessly for years turning Van Gogh's famous work into this motion picture. They drew 853 different oil paintings. As one was finished, they would color over it to make small adjustments for the subsequent frame. As a result, the movie contains exactly 853 different shots. Loving Vincent is one hour and 34 minutes long, and each second consists of 12 frames. So in total, there are about 65,000 of them, and yes, they're all hand-drawn. The plot is set after the Dutch artist's death and follows Armand Roulon, who has to deliver a letter to Theo, Vincent's also deceased brother. Through this journey, we discover the life of the painter and meet the characters in his work. To start with, I was just completely baffled. I didn't understand quite how they did it, because it's such a complicated process. But then it was pretty easy. But then all it took was to understand that actually it is as difficult as you think it's going to be, and they actually have to paint every single frame. You're like, wait, how are they going to do that? No, that's actually how they're going to do it. They're going to paint 12 frames a second for the whole movie. So once I got my head around that, I was like, well, if they're willing to put in that work, <laughs> I'm definitely willing to, uh, to make this movie. So what brings you to Orver? I want to do something for Vincent. You're not going to stir things up again, are you? You've had quite enough weeping over that nutcase. His neighbors and the police Get out of there! and the whole town against an ill man. Vincent, what have you done? This film is a totally new experience for audiences, but the same can be said for the actors. It was great when we did the shots that is morphed from the portrait and having to kind of line all those things up and make sure that it's exactly right and that the shapes are exactly the same as the, the portrait of her and everything um, was was really interesting for me. Normally you, you just shoot a movie and and that's that's the that's the final product and that's what's on screen and they just cut that together and maybe put a few effects on but here they're adding a layer of magic on top of everything I did which is particularly incredible and special to see. And action! Normally when you make a movie, it's, you make it and then it sort of drops down behind an iron curtain and there's this sort of lots of studio executives sort of you know, we'll argue about this and that and about is this going to appeal to this audience? Are, they, are we going to make money out of that? Whereas on this film, it's purely just about the art and making it as, as, as beautiful and true to Vincent and, and, and just doing Vincent proud. And um, so it's been a really sort of nice, wholesome experience in that sense. Loving Vincent was partially financed through crowdfunding and will probably be the most unique picture you'll ever see. It's just been released, so check it out now. Did he change his mind? Did he want to live after all? You want to know so much about his death, but what do you know of his life? I would like to show by my work what this nobody has in his heart.